block diagram models. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to explain the block diagram models, list the rules of reduction of block diagrams, introduction to block diagram models. Are you guys puzzled to see both the images together? Do you feel these images are related to each other? Obviously, both the images are related. The first image displayed is the flowchart or visual representation of the functions of the paths in an air conditioner. Such flowcharts involved in the design of control systems are called as block diagrams. The block diagram is nothing but just a visual representation of a system connected by lines or arrows to represent the relationship between the paths that are the steps of the application. For instance, let's consider a liquid level system that consists of a controller, pneumatic valve, tank, float and an output. In this control system, the level of the water is sensed by the float and the position of the float acts as feedback. According to the float position, the pneumatic valve is operated by the controller and controls the flow of water in the tank. When the water attains the required level, the flow of water in the tank is stopped by the controller. If the water is drained, then the float's position changes from the desired position. Then the controller operates the pneumatic valve accordingly. The entire process can be represented as a block diagram of the system as shown. Thus, the block diagrams are an indispensable part of control systems. Hence, in this lesson, let us focus on the block diagram models. Block diagram models The input output behavior of a linear system or element of a linear system is given by its transfer function g of s is equal to c of s divided by r of s. The graphical representation of functions performed by each component of a system and that of flow of signals is said to be a block diagram. In this case, the flow of information or signal is unidirectional from input to output with the output being equal to the input multiplied by the transfer function of the block. Whereas a complex system comprising of several non loading elements is represented by the interconnection of the blocks for individual elements. The blocks are connected by lines with arrows indicating the unidirectional flow of information from the output of one block to the input of the other. The summation of input signals is represented by a point called summing point and the summing or differencing of signals is indicated by the symbol as shown. The takeoff point of a signal is represented as shown. Now, let us see the block diagram models for closed loop and multiple input, multiple output systems. The block diagram of a negative feedback system is shown on the screen. Now, let us see the terminologies used in the block diagram of a control system. R of S is the reference input. C of S is the output signal. V of S is the feedback signal. E of S is the error signal or actuating signal. G of S is the forward path transfer function. H of S is the transfer function of the feedback elements. From the block diagram, C of S is equal to G of S by E of S. This is equation 1. On simplification, E of S is equal to R of S minus H of S into C of S, that is equation number 2. Eliminating E of S from equations 1 and 2, 
we get the equation as shown. Hence, the given system is reduced and the closed loop transfer function of the system is given as shown. Now, let's move on to multiple input, multiple output systems as shown. The block diagram can be reduced as shown. The transfer function of the reduced block diagram is shown. In the case of multi input, multi output systems, the ith output ci of s is given by the principle of superposition as shown. Equation 1 can be expressed in matrix form as shown. We will denote it as equation 3. Equation 3 can be expressed in compressed matrix notation as C of S is equal to G of S into R of S. Let it be is equation 4. The corresponding block diagram can be drawn as shown. Here, the thick arrows represent the multi inputs and outputs. Generalizing in matrix form, the equation can be written as shown. Substituting equations 6 and 7, in equation 5, we obtain equation 8. The above equation can be simplified as shown. This is equation 9. The closed loop matrix transfer function is given as shown. This is equation 10. Thus, the results are represented in a thick arrow block diagram. Rules of block diagram reduction Hope you have understood different block diagram models. Now, let's start with the rules to reduce the block diagram. There are six rules that are involved in the reduction of block diagrams. They are listed as follows. Rule 1. Combining the block in a cascade. Rule 2. Moving a summing point after a block. Rule 3. Moving a summing point ahead of a block. Rule 4. Moving a takeoff point after a block. Rule 5. Moving a takeoff point ahead of a block. Rule 6. Eliminating a feedback loop. Conclusion. This brings us to the end of the lesson. Thus, we can conclude that, to simplify a complex control system, block diagrams are used in each block of the diagram. The output and input are related together by transfer functions. Summary. In this lesson, you have learned about the block diagram models.